two rounds of round one of this modown. Yep. What's up first? I'm super tired tonight. Today, first round we have Josh McCuga and his mystery partner. Oh yeah. Versus uh, the Wolves of Steel. I'm very interested to see who Josh McCuga's mystery partner is. I mean, it could be is. anybody. It could be Dan Merle. It could be Stephen Hawkins. Or it could be Jeremy Johns. I mean, it's Stephen <laughs> Hawkins. <laughs> Jeremy Johns, Mark Ellis. Uh, I don't see if it's Mark Ellis. David Griffin, Cody. This is a whole crap shoot. Of yeah, but I think they're going to get demolished because Wolves of Steel is just really good. Yeah. I think Wolves of Steel is overrated. Well, okay, you have <laughs> Mark Riley, former champ, Clark Wolf, who is the number two contender in the uh, Ultimate Smallwood Singles Tournament. So she knows her shit. All right, well, let's get this sucker started. I also, I have Wolves of Steel winning this game. Unless there are two person fifteen seed. <laughs> Unless he gets like a Dan Merle or somebody, then <laughs> oh. I'll be switching my pen real quick. Look at the question mark. Welcome back. Mark, I like you just doing this. We are deep into this tournament, and Ken, we've got something very interesting today. We do. This is Mo Dabby Action, it's brought to you by Carabao. Sour Gummer Bears. These are your next champions when they formed back in the day. And they had a rough start, but then they went on a nice run. They actually got a chance to get to that title shot. He didn't win it, but then it looked like Mark Riley was going to step down after he lost the championship at the collision. He said, I'm not competing anymore. Enter Clark Wolf. His partner said, buddy, let's give this one more shot. And here they are. They're going to give it a run and see what can happen. I love that idea. Clark and Riley have been two of the most beloved competitors since almost the start of this. And certainly Riley. He was there at the beginning. Uh, Clark shows up. She is, uh, she's, she should, let's be honest, she's an icon for many. Right. That sometimes puts a lot of pressure on these two. Don't remember that, them both pretty well. <laughs> But they, they, they always rise above it. Riley's a two-time champ. Clark is is a champ of people's hearts in a lot of ways. So I, I'm so interested. That's a nice way to say it. Yeah, she can't win shit. But you talk about somebody who was beloved, and you gotta go no further than look at the wild man. Wild man! He's one of the most beloved figures we've ever had in this game. He's competed um, more than most people have competed. He, he can get that Makuga magic. He can pull off a big win, or he can have a match like he did against Tom Dagnino, and then pull it out at the very last second. Yeah. But the thing with Makuga, what he's been doing, he mentioned a while ago that he was gonna have a brand new teammate once him and Finstock split, right? Yeah. We still do not know who that person is. We know that we're going to see that person today, yeah. but we don't know who it is. It's just been Wolves of Steel versus Makuga and question. And sure, they know. Question mark indeed. Yeah, Makuga. No, right. they're playing dumb. His, his entire career no, is yeah, no. leaping and somehow no, okay. his ass lands in butter. I don't know how this guy does it sometimes. It, it's not just luck. It's like he pulls the knowledge from deep within. Right. And maybe he can pull a partner from deep within that compliments them. And, and sends them to the top. Well, we're going to see right now what these two teams, because Makuga and Riley have a history together. Um, Makuga yeah. and Clark Wolf. They, you look at what has happened in these tournaments from last year. Clark Wolf might be looking for some revenge against Makuga. Um, there's maybe some revenge that Makuga wants to play around with the 2014 final. So let's yeah. hear from all the competitors. Clark Wolf, what time I remember? Yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, hey, partner. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good, and I'm mostly good because you have agreed to play one more round with me. Well, how do you say no to the classy one? What's up, movie <laughs> trivia showdown fans? I'm back, and I'm not doing a fantasy update. I'm playing a <laughs> team tournament for the ultimate team tournament. tournament. A lot of you can ask me on Twitter. Who's your new teammate? Who's your new teammate going to be? Why haven't you announced a teammate? I'm holding you on my fantasy squad. I want to know who your teammate is. My teammate is. I'm gonna let you know who my teammate. Not this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Cody. Tired as it were. Very good thing. For a very long time. But guess what? We got real damn close. So close. Real damn close mm. to a shiny belt. A shiny belt that if I could get another shiny belt, 
That's just another notch on this here shoulder. That's right. And damn it, do you deserve a belt? I'm gonna let you know who my teammate is when the match starts, and you better tune in because my new teammate and I are gonna take this league by storm. We are gonna beat everybody on our path. We have personality, we have knowledge, we have facial hair, and best of all, so it's a man. Yeah, Could randomly be John like Camp. Yeah. I mean, tasting alcohol before every match. I'm but actually kind of excited it's because it's, I feel I like it's gonna be really good. great. Yeah, we've already it's seen some yeah, really yeah, good teams hair. go down, so okay, this this tournament hair. feels interesting, mm -hmm. and I can't wait to like really the test the waters and go out there and see what we're made of because I know we are one of the best teams out there. Why did it take so long? Form another team. Well, because I had to find the right partner. And I had to find a person that also had a vendetta and some vengeance and needed to exact revenge. And that's exactly what this team is going to do. We're going to prove to the Lions then that they're just a bunch of guys, a bunch of kid cats, purring around. You can never underestimate John Okita as I know very well, although still don't count that. After they won a match. Yeah, I don't count that second match either, Clark. Thanks, Riley. That's why we're here, I believe, for this match against Makuga slash Unknown. Yeah, come out with it, Josh. I know. Like, who are you hiding back there are you behind scared? the curtains? Are you scared? I mean, I hope it's somebody worthy of taking us on because, you know, you're going to need some help. I love you, buddy. But Slowdown's about to start. Are you ready for this team match? Are you ready for the are ultimate Slowdown team ready? play? Two. God damn it. Can you say it? Well, no surprise. Who's standing by himself? Not good. Who's standing by himself? Who the hell? Okay, You're going to find out when you find out. But the Wolves are still saying exactly what we thought they would. Yeah. They just won last time. Right. Can they do it? Can they get the goal? Absolutely. And the Kuka <laughs> standing by himself is what I see at the moment. No, it was just him. Yeah, I'm wedding reception. So I'm used to seeing that. that but. Yeah, uh, you, you know it's true. Um, but yeah, I, I'm ready. All right, well, we are going to get ready. I'm going to tell the tape. Absolutely. The tape. With Riley and Clark, the Clutch Clutch. Clutch. we definitely know this three. Two versus 15. Killer. Both of them are really, really, really steep in that knowledge. Also, superhero movies, classics, Oscar winners, directors, scores, and soundtracks. Right. We know Mark Riley loves Lots that. Of He's stuff. one of the rare champions of that category. All right, so with that being said, I'm ready to go. How about you? I'm ready too. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia! <laughs> I need a win. I'm one of the four games losing streak. Hell yeah. Introducing I'm about that. first. Four game winning streak. Let's keep it going. Making Still like five their times. Schmodown debut. No wins, no defeats. Right now, it is just. My name's twisted out. <laughs> His partner is whiskey. His partner is whiskey. His partner is whiskey. Hey, Corzline. So it is. So it is, Mark Ellis. Make my heart sing. All right, so still, still nothing to question mark now. All right, so I guess we're gonna intro. What if you couldn't find a partner? Well, is there a? These suits are always over. Ladies and gentlemen, good to see everybody. Nice. This has been a this has been something. Shut up! I'll tell you in a minute. Right, this has been so <laughs> you have uh, you have been holding this for a while. I remember you were on uh, Inside Schmodown, yeah. and you said you had an idea for a partner. You had this partner for a while. I, I, we've been talking. Okay. So uh, is, is it official? Or are we gonna have a match today? It's official. It's I, official. I, I made a, I made a choice. Uh, I, I believe I, my talents are being brought together. Oh, right. LeBron James and the Big Three in Miami. Uh, I decided on a, on a partner. It's not Cody Hall, although I, I, oh. I lost that. Uh, well, you're turning heel now. It's not. It's not Drew McQueen. Uh, he he scares me, but and he scares competitors. But he's also not my my teammate. My teammate. You know what, Cody? Hit the music. Oh. That's my new Yeah, you just play music. Is he good? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, Kieran from Wonder Woman. Correct, Clark. I said a lady who looks like Diane Kruger. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I look like Diane Kruger. Ryan, he was the only one who yeah. got that one right. I'm rocking it so far. All right, guys. I don't to confuse Connie Nielsen and Connie Britton. Anybody else? Mm. Connie Britton. Just you, actually. and you're competing in a game like about trivia. trivia. I really All right, I can't do like this. a new category. Question oh. number four. Question number four. Category is horror thriller. Oh. What famous country music singer plays the wife in the survivalist couple, Heather Gummer, in 1990s? Tremors. Ooh, Tremors, man. Last time you saw 19. <laughs> uh, by my comment. Did you repeat the question? Sure, that is going to count as one. What famous country music singer plays the wife in the survivalist couple? It's Heather Dolly Parton. Oh, wife. That's what you're It's a girl. No, no, no. It's I would not be the one. All right. I Four. I just really guess three, it's going to be my fault. Two. This is the only country singer. That's that one. What's you got? Tell you a name. Me? A Judd. Okay, that's incorrect. Uh, yep. McCoos. Martina McBride? Incorrect. Clark. Reba McIntyre. That's right. correct for a point. Oh, that's the survivor. That's the only part. Oh, that's the one I was going to do. Five horror movies. Five horror movies. Who was the best mom? Kevin Bacon's in. Here we go, guys. Michael Brooks. Action Adventure. Michael Brooks. It's the dad from Family Ties. Action Adventure. What was the name of the sequel to The Fugitive? Oh. Oh. I once survived a bus bus crash. Is it? Yeah, yeah, I was friendly. No, no one was on me. Drinking milk? Yeah. 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 Five. It's extra. Four, three. Two. One. Pens down, please. And Clark. U.S. Marshal. That is correct. Um, do her. You ever seen it? Oh, I've oh, never heard of it. Correct. <laughs> right. It's you didn't have it. Didn't have it. The same man, U.S. Marshal. Wow, yeah. Just talked about it on the uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, question six. Category is directors. Who directed The Usual Suspects? I like it. We're watching this in November. You are? Yeah. He seems to recover. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah. one in the first round. Five. What is it? Four. Five. Three. Huh? What's in the background? One. Two. Clark. Singer. Brian Singer. Two. Yes, yeah. Okay. Right. 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 Singer. That's correct. Right. All we have to do is do last names now. Right. 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 down. Because yeah. because Wakuga missed on the first okay. name and Clark said it said it and mm -hmm. wrote it. Wakuga. Bullshit. All right. Here we go. So on the next question is number seven. Yep. Right. And that's fantasy sci-fi. Name the actor that plays the terrifying C-1000 in Terminator oh, 2. It's, uh, what's Jeff his face? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know who he is, I just don't know his <laughs> name. Well, it's better than some other things. Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's the truth. You know? That's true. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, pens down. And Mark Ryder. Robert Patrick. That's oh, correct. Right. And Patrick. Michael Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. If I had just written Patrick, would I have gotten it correct? No, because the whole reason why is she you had gotten it. it wrong beforehand, so she said the name without ever hearing the first name. I wonder if these and new so made up rules were right getting. Right we sounds good. like a bunch of BS. Right, so, Look, like he's pulling for wolves of steel. Right. That's correct, and Elliot. Robert Patrick. There you go. Right. So it's only three points. That's yeah, three so points. We got this question here. Round number two. Final question. Eighth question. Dramas. Category oh. dramas. What 2015 crime drama was directed by Denis Villeneuve and starred Emily Blunt? Prisoners? All right. We got we'll be needing that again. Give me prisoners. Uh, noises over there. A little frustration. Discretion. Uh -huh. And five. Four, three, two, one, pens down. Elliot. Sicario. That's correct. Sicario! I was about to say, I don't know how you didn't get that one. Oh. I thought I was tired. <laughs> I forgot that came out in 2015. Fuck! <laughs> Forget about that movie. Oh, man. I was sitting there like, oh. Because I almost said something. I was like, <laughs> Please, I get <laughs> I wasn't gonna do it. Man, I was like, where's this? I never heard of that movie. Unless, of course, it lands on opponent's choice. Each question is worth two points apiece, unless they go to multiple choice. Then it goes over one point. That's a rough first step. From their opponents in this round. All right, so, <sighs> you guys have the lead. Would you like to go first or second? 
We'll go first. We're going to go first. first. All right. Mm -hmm. No horse. All right, Clark, give it a good spin. Rip it. We don't count Diaz. Oh, no, is there a Cameron Diaz on there again? Yeah. Our worst T track would say, that bitch. He just still really needs to get more. Comedy. Oh, that's bad. That's sweet spot. What do I want to do here? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I really do. They're quickly they becoming one of my favorite. Yeah, songs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they're like, what is going on? They're like, what is going on? Holding court a whole night. Yeah, but they're entertaining. Yeah. They've got to give you five seconds. They've got to keep family filming. Let's do it again. All right. Let's do it again. All right. He goes, spin. He goes, spin. One of the bigger spins we've seen in this tournament so far. It is. I love Break the wheel. It's going to be. No! Drama! Yes. All right, drama. All right, so they Drama. Oh, no! Damn, I was hoping you get Name Pixar. a Pixar movie. All right, here we go. In what do a bunch of bullying teenagers rub into the Amish Ooh. men's faces when they're in town in oh, business? Gross, though. I've Five, never seen this movie. <laughs> four, three, multiple choice. A, B, Y, C, ketchup, D, ice cream. I go with C. That doesn't help at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, it helped me because it's not poop. Five, <laughs> can you get the choices again? What'd you put originally? Hey, originally, I put that on a uh, banana, then I went to garbage, then I said tomatoes. <laughs> Question two. Who directed Eight Mile? Good baby. Don't know who fucking directed it. Five. Multiple choice, please. A. Jim Sheridan. B. George Tillman Jr. C. Curtis Hansen. D. Ernest R. Dickerson. You know A. Incorrect. Fuck. Curtis Hansen. That's correct. Oh, what? what was that? B. C. C. That was Damn it. it. Oh, C paid off that time. <laughs> All right, guys. Question three. Question three. Spike Lee directed Ed Norton in what? The 25th movie? down. Whoa. Two more. 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 Suck it, Ronnie. Right? Right? Your fourth <laughs> question. Go, go. Go, go. Are you ready? Fourth question. Spoiler alert. How does Mikey die at the end of the ice storm? He freezes to death. Whoa. Spoiler. I, I did warn. Yeah. Freezes to death. Never heard of it. Freezes to death. Five. Five. Multiple choice, please. A. Drowning. B. Electric C. C. Freezing. D. Overdose. None of the options is an ice storm. Uh, I mean, it's a good call. You would think ice storm. Five, four, three. And drowning, yeah. Correct, correct. Electrocution. Correct. Go. What? Wow. What is this movie? Who the fuck is this ice storm? Raise your hand in the crowd right now. Besides, I want to know. No lies. Right. Riley has yeah. seen this. There you go. Not on the old Riley network. All right. <laughs> All right. You're taller than that. Arrival. Louise tells Colonel <laughs> Weber that what word? Came about from a misunderstanding with Aboriginal. Oh, it's a fucking arrival question. Fuck. I really didn't like this movie. Uh, and I know everybody else did. No, I did. Hey, Listen, Broca, I'm not five. Man. Four. <laughs> three. <laughs> two. Multiple one. choice. Multiple choice. A. Plant. B. Kangaroo. C. River. Oh. D. Crocodile. Kangaroo. That's correct. Woo! All right, so now you're staying alive. You're staying alive. You're 22. 13, here is your final question. Said, hello. Final, hello. final question. Final question. What Clint Eastwood film was shot and set in the Detroit metropolitan area? Gran Torino. Two Hell points. yeah. All right. So they got Gran to sell a little. They're giving out seven That's points now going into round number three. That is a big deficit to overcome against the Wolves of oh, Steel. Right. So they're going to try point. to avoid a TKO as we get into round number three. Round number three is going to work like this to competitors. We'll pick three numbers from one to twenty. First one's worth two. Uh -oh. Second one is worth three, and the final one will be worth five. You, the player, will decide who wants two, who wants the three, and then you can confer on the five. All right, we'll steal. You guys are in the lead. That's bad feeling at the beginning of this. Only four, like two twelve, points. and nineteen. Four, twelve, nineteen for the wolves. Okay, boy. <laughs> okay, and for the wild bears. Second round. Thirteen. Was better than I thought it was gonna be. Eight. 13, 3, 8. A lot of conviction there on the 13, the 3. All right, so I will be asking the questions to the Wild Bears as we now get into... They were pissed off really fuck. So in the first category, which was category number 13, 
horror thriller. <sighs> horror thriller. Um, alright. <laughs> 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 he doesn't even like horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> I love the strategy. Both strategy, Mark. Listen, if we still miss it, we have a chance to win. Still. Who's taking it? I am. Alright. So, which 2015 <laughs> comedy is based on a popular series of children's books and stars? This is what we gonna get. Oh. Well, that's not horror thriller. What? Oh. Sorry, forget, forget what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, Kuslos. That's two points. Two points. All right. All right. Damn. All right. 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 The coastal town of Sweet Haven is the setting for which 1980 musical comedy? Footloose. Did you put it? Footloose. I can't hold the choice on this. Nope. No. Four. Uh, three. Grease? Damn. Popeye. 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 All right, so now to this one, oh, the Wilders right now. Man, they will I thought it was like, great. One opportunity to <laughs> get back to the Wolves of Steel. However, if they miss, the Wolves of Steel will advance and will be playing late to the party in round number two. Can I get right, this again? So go. I can tie it again. Your five can I stop you real quick there? Yeah. Uh, being fashionably late to the party, actually kind of socially acceptable. That's nice. Okay. Now I'm going to take you to thanks, Makuga. Yeah, right. Glad we did that. Like if you're gonna dress up like a clown, it's okay if you're five minutes late. Yeah. yeah. Right. Here we go, guys. So for your five pointer, in order to send it back to the Wolves of Steel, your question is in the realm of action and adventure. Right. Yeah. Action yeah. and adventure. All right. Five pointer, John. Who played the first lady in Olympus Has Fallen? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I, that's like the first ten minutes of the movie. Aaron, I'm thinking four, three, two, get repeat question. Who played the first lady in Olympus Has Fallen? Is it just me? Or the same kind of questions over and over again, or we're just Five, all these are blended four, together in my head? All right. <laughs> Who played the first lady in Olympus? Has fallen. Uh, we're gonna go uh, the lovely uh, Diane Lane. And you're <laughs> I think it's actually that. Clark, Wolf, Mark Riley, the Wolves of Steel. The answer was Ashley Judd. Boom! I knew it because we had the Ashley Judd question the other day, and I was like, that face is really. That's who it was. <laughs> Olympus is fallen, man. Gerard Butler, Aaron Eckhart's the president. Ashley Judd's the wife. She does tie in like the first ten minutes. That's why no one knows it. Apparently, once, never gonna watch it again. Well, I've seen it multiple times. It's good. Oh. Victorious Wolves Bye. of Steel. Mark Riley, Clark Wolves. It is so lovely to see you here in the winter circle again. Oh, thank you, Emma. Yeah, that felt good. I like wins. It's very All right. fun. You don't have to flip. Late to the party. You got a challenge. Okay. Now. All right. Oh, but your first match is pretty good challenging. Good. And you know, speaking of, I, I feel like going into this match there was a little bit of an intimidation factor with these don't cry, outfits. Don't cry, buddy. I'm not crying. Just I'm really angry. <laughs> I'm still, I was five down, so I'm four down Here you still. are in the Pennywise costume, one of the most terrifying you know, right, characters and iconic of <laughs> all time. Do you, do you feel that that was a part of the strategy going into the match today? Certainly. I mean, part of it, yeah. I mean, but as you know, Wolves of Steel, we like to, uh, the theatrics are fun, and we usually are very poor. I usually miss Sicario, uh, to be honest with you. Do. You want to see me a spot at the bar? Uh, <laughs> But when it worked out that uh, Makuga and uh, Dewberry no. were the first match, uh, well, just the 
that? It, it just was perfect timing. Serendipity. Serendipitous. Made sense. That's it was crazy. the way to go. Now, I have to say, going into that first round, we all know that Josh Makuga is no slouch like here it's in it's the showdown. Right now, and Elliot, even when he was with Ricky, was a very strong contender. So that first yeah. round, it was pretty tough. For sure. I mean, look, all jokes aside, we don't we don't take them lightly. We don't take any competitors lightly at this point, but Correct. especially Josh and Dewberry. And um, the first round was a, yeah, it was a close one. Yeah, it was really close. Dewberry knows all his work. Always he has. More <laughs> <laughs> and Josh Makuga, I mean, my God, the guy took me the last question in the championship round. You never count out Makuga. We did not take these guys lightly at all in fact, like, we were like, like within the last week go. we've had we just do our multiple goosebump questions multiple, multiple ashley judd questions in round two the wheel did go in your favor because you got that spinner's choice but it was kind of a rough one. start to the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, I can think of one. Look, we, here's movie. the strategy of that. Like We've gotten horror thriller, thriller before, and we didn't crush it like we thought we would. She plays the other team might not know the answer, which also didn't pay off because they stole the play from us. Yeah, and Josh Makuga was just a bit of 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 that's a that's a deep cut. Yeah, you, that was you a tough in a, one. You in a film school catalog? Oh, you know, that's the most uh, like Diane Lane. But we we felt pretty good about the rest of the rest. The, the rest was. Yeah, the rest definitely went in your favor, and ultimately you guys emerged victorious as you have so many times. The before. two questions about tremors in uh, this episode. We're movie trivia yeah, champion works. here in our midst. Or that time we had uh, like two guy Richie questions through with Clark. To the end of this oh, it was just a question worded the other way around. It looked like you you didn't miss a beat. You're still as strong as ever. So are you? What what made you? Dave McCombie starring Jack Black based on children. She's it's awesome. Like two She's stars and goosebumps. She deserves a belt. If we can run the table on this thing, get her a belt. That's great. Then my job is done. But you know, I'm a competitor too. One more run, get another shiny belt, another notch on the shoulder. Hell yeah. We want that. I agree. I want it. I want that belt. When we lost to the Patriots, I was very sad, and I'm coming for it. Now, if you were to get that team belt, would that maybe inspire you to come back into singles? Would that make you hungry for more competing, Mark Riley? Probably not. No. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> if I get the belt, that's just a great way to go out and uh, just to really take some yeah, time. Yeah, but you won't be able to go out if you get the belt. The You're off to defend it. And really focus on making this league something great because there's some great people out there. I thought he was just... Who gets that done for a while. Well, Sounds like he's done for done. I'm very really glad to have you still standing by Clark Wolf's side. And up next, you guys are going to be facing Late to the Party, yeah. a crew that drives in here from Arizona. They are fans of the Schmodown. They do reaction videos, and they are damn good competitors. They are super good. I watch their reaction videos when they play along. Me too. The stuff that they get, I'm shocked. It's easy for us to sit at home. And go, uh, or it's easiest for look at people who sit at home and play. And you go, yeah, but when you're under the lights. But when they were under the lights, they were great. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be. Oh no, I'm not under the lights. I still, <laughs> we still suck. <just, like, laughs> fans of theirs, and I'm glad they came in. I mean, they came in, and they defeated whatever those other guys' names were. And good on them for doing that. I'm happy that they did it because they deserve the win. They know their stuff. We made a tough, tough match. Absolutely. I know that they are very much looking forward to taking on you guys. You say that you are fans of them. They are also fans of you. So it will certainly be a match for the books, I think. We'll be right back with our not quite winners today, the <laughs> newly revealed Team Wildberries. And we are Wild back berries. with the long-awaited Team Wildberries. They may not have been victorious in the showdown here today, but they are victorious in their fashion choices. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and and the mostly were very. Uh, uh, listen, I, I, think <laughs> for a while. I think we make a great team. I think today we just kind of got questions that were we were close to. There, I feel like there was no middle ground. It was like we knew it, or I had no idea. I wasn't even like uh, Joe Carmen. Rome was not built in a day. Julius Caesar lost many showdown matches before that came out. And, and you know That's what? True. <laughs> I think we hit our stride a little too late. But also. Anytime we play these jabronis in Wolves of Steel, and this thing's on the fucking wheel, I gotta start asking questions. Who's got a little extra money in their pocket? We'll never know, but, you know, gotta stay paranoid. I'm with Elliot on that one. Listen, I, I, I feel like the wheel was weighted way towards the Wolves of Steel side. I'm not pulling, listen, I'm not pulling any kind of conspiracy theories that this match was rigged. I'm just saying that if people are looking for entertainment value, the wolves are still fine, but if you know, they're very nice people. I wish I could say more bad things, 
about Clark Lewis and Mark Riley, but they're so fucking nice and friendly. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna not, I'm gonna skip addressing them. I'm gonna address the rest of the snow down universe. Get fucking ready, dicks, because I'm back. Damn. I took a little break. I tried to make myself more positive after being spurned by my old partner, Ricky. Sorry, Emma. I realized positivity is a dead end, and I'm back. I'm gonna put a little vinegar on Josh McCougar's honey. I'm <laughs> gonna make something that tastes real fucking bad. You're wrong, you and me. You're in your pie that you thought was full of wild berries, but in fact, it was full of some spicy wild berries? Yeah. <coughs> Don't go in the forest, you might eat something that's poisonous. That's right. And that's a wild berry. How <laughs> fun are they talking about? Really? You <laughs> We've been drinking a lot. Until it's in it. Until it's in like you. It. <laughs> you never ask what's in a wild berry. No. Ever. You can't judge it based on its You don't want to know the answer. I'm not sure where this metaphor is going. It's going everywhere. <laughs> 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 You're playing for the everyman, not the elitist. Right, yes, and, and we all are, are very happy to see you. <laughs> Look out, Snowdown Illuminati. <laughs> Here in the and Elliot, you get a chance to play in the computing. The code. Five way singles, are you Ron excited Howard. about that? Okay. Angels and demons. Sorry, yeah, I'm going to play another match pretty soon. It's going to be great to dust off uh, this pink jacket. Because this, this is what I wear now. Yeah. Compromises were made in this team membership. <laughs> right. And I'll be there. Excellent. Don't act like you're not impressed, Emma. I'm, Don't act like you're not I am super impressed. Is, I, I'm super impressed. Elliot, is this your own jacket? Has Josh McCoy No, it was borrowed, okay. and I have to return it after we finish this interview. Fantastic. Well, we all look forward there's to seeing it. There's a thing called the lion's den, and now there's a thing called the thorn bush. Full <laughs> of wild berries. And you're goddamn right, we're coming for all. So look, the wolf just took the scene of the show. I can't wait to see them again. They're really not playing anymore. They want Next year. to win the gold. You know, Mark Riley was saying it that he's been there before he's had the championship. He, I know Mark. He is really playing. He wants Clark to get that championship. And Clark, I know Clark very well. She wants to play for a championship. So they are playing very hard. You can tell he's very passive. They have nice words to say about late to the party as we knew they would. But you, you talk to the Wild Berries, as you knew that interview was going to be hysterical. They're not going anywhere. They want to play together. Makuga's saying the same reasons why he picked Dewberry in the first place. Dewberry is saying some nice words. And that's a team that I think could be, if they get the right categories, could be dangerous for some people. Yeah, I never count Makuga out until, well, today. But uh, he could always come back. I think he was on the tip of the phone. If he didn't have 12 shots of fireball, he might have been able to pull that out. Or that helps him connect to another level of playing business. All right. All right, well, you heard that. All right, so now you guys go ahead and comment. How about this? Who's winning the next matchup between the Wolves of Steel and Late to the Party? That's your Late round two matchup. Man, that's will it be two. those kids from Arizona? Or will it be the old vets and Wolves of Steel? What do you guys think? Who will win? Who do you got winning now that we have so many matches down in round, in round number one? Who's the odds on favorite now? A lot yep. of upsets that happen. Um, a lot of big matches coming up. Go ahead, comment, let us know what you think. No Check pop. out this man's show, Inside Snowdown, <laughs> every Thursday on the Facebook page Dude, of the I say, Also, make sure down. you check out Inside the Show. Wild. Also, check out the That's Snowdown good. Rundown no, no. on the SK Plus channel as well as the show. Is McQueenie on that one? No, yeah. yeah. Because I just Thank put you guys very much. I'll throw it over right back to Josh McCuga. Sam got it. And they're being a DC movie name. What's up, movie tree, Snowdown fans? All right. <laughs> you lost. You should have picked me as your partner. Okay, Mom. You think, you think if I would have picked you, we would have won? Oh, yeah. I Did you know there were answers that I didn't know? I knew a few. Did you know, you know remember the one that you, you thought you got right and then you didn't? Like all of them? You got right. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you walk back in this ring again, I will literally rip your face. I'm Josh McCook here. I'm serious. I'm serious. Walk across the camera. So quiet. Really, truly, when you think about Team Wildberries, everybody's like, oh, they're probably a pretty good choice. They're a great choice. <laughs> you know why? Because we are putting points on the board, but we're also putting smiles on your face. And those are priceless. Those are worth no fantasy points. But they are worth fantasy points in your heart. It's not worth shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
We will play matches and we will win them. And I will spurn Cody until he's dead. I will rub his face in the liar that is the voice of my enemies. I will take him to where tremors live. Michael Gross, Fred Ward, Kevin Bacon, all of them will eat the death that is. Are you drinking my fireball? <laughs> Fantasy update right here on the Weird Trio Schmodown. For all things fantasy, go to schmoes.com for a chance. And of course, the Schmodown Rundown and Schmoes Blog, the Rundown Blog. I forget what it is, the really cool one Twitter. I've retweeted it a couple times. I'm a little too drunk to remember the full thing. See you guys next time. Kidding, I'm not gonna throw. Oh my god. Yeah. It, hey, yeah. it was so good. No, the opening scene is giving me nightmares. No, the clown room. The, the clown room. Yeah, the clown room was in the was the act, room just, like, was Everybody that. in the audience. Flipped out. I know. And there was that moment when Penny went just. I know. Yeah, I can't. I can't. But okay, so all the scary stuff was cool, but the kids were definitely the best. The Losers Club was like perfect. Pitch perfect casting. The Losers Club. I I mean, everybody had that one. The kids were all the movie. I I love it. I wish they could join the Worlds of Steel. I wish they could play Showdown. They'd be good at trivia. I think they would. I mean, 80s set, it's like kind of nostalgia. They know their stuff. I wonder how they would do at a uh, a Showdown. Yeah, me too. Go ahead. Oh my, oh my god. god! You guys yes. can definitely be a part of this show. How are you? Welcome. Hey, 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 I think I saw a picture of us. Are you going to get our own show? Oh! Oh! oh, oh wait, wait a minute. This is crazy. Oh you my god. Wait, who are these people? Never seen them in my life. No, wait. Okay. You guys want to play the show now? Why not? We're playing show now. Are you ready? 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 Oh no. Oh boy. Nope. Guys, save it. Save it for the range. Save yeah, save it for the range. I got an idea. I'll you I bet you guys, I bet you guys could all take on each other. Yeah. 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 In, yeah. A, in a free for all. How about a free for all? Free, free for all. Free for all, Shmodown. You're dead. Get gone. Last loser standing? Like sure. Yeah. Last loser's the winner. Get it on. Let's do it. Last yeah. loser wins. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Play on once or what? Am I right? Okay. Alrighty. That's next week. Yeah. Monday, maybe, I think is what it said. Yeah. Well, um, very interesting pick there for Bakuga, even though they lost. I am on a fucking hot streak right now. If we were playing NBA Jam, the announcer would be going, He's on fire! Over and over and over again. Fuck this game! Well, let's, we're going to move on to the next one. Um, got anything else to say? Fuck this game! That's what I figured. Cool, cool. Alright. Fuck this game! Peace out!